are set to go. Auburn in the dark uniforms, LSU in the gold. Victor Howell, Lynn Rollins with you. We hope you are settled in and ready for some SEC women's basketball action. Victor will take a look at the Auburn starting lineup as well as LSU's in just a moment. Tigers had some troubles with turnovers in their last game against Missouri. And a three ball is up, a three ball is in. The first shot of the game is knocked home by Jasmine Carson. Nice job by LSU to hold pos possession when it looked like Auburn was going to get the steal. Angel Reese cross court pass sets up Carson for that three pointer. Johnson, Shaw, Scott Grayson, Richardson, and Precious Johnson, the opening quintet for Auburn. This is the ninth different starting lineup for the Auburn Tigers this year. Here are the LSU quintet, Carson and Johnson, Morris, Williams, and Reese. With this lineup starting, Victor, the Tigers are 13-0, and, and they have picked up a couple of quick buckets here. The Deja Williams, that time under the post, she's kind of been the forgotten big player for LSU because Angel Reese has been taking so much of the attention. But remember, the outstanding career she had in Missouri and comes to LSU as a grad transfer. LSU leading 5-0. Nice offensive work on the glass. And a stick back is good by Precious Johnson. She is the tallest player on the court at a 6'5 height, a junior from Baytown, Texas, who started her career at Texas. That comes up a little bit short, and an LSU Tiger goes down hard. That's Flaugé Johnson. She's having trouble getting up. She's limping down into defensive posture and late getting there. Scott Grayson rams in. The deep deuce, I tell you what, though, that, that day with all the school kids occupying every seat, that, that would have given an aspirin a headache. Coming into town, all the ceremonies, the statue unveiling an hour and a half ago, they still got to get out here and play. He wanted to see how are they going to react to all of the attention that's been on this team for the last few days. Quite honestly, the last LSU effort, that's blocked and a foul called. LSU is coming off a game against Missouri. And, uh, there's some things to tighten up after that Missouri game, even though it was a 20-point win. Right. Turnovers have been a concern in the SEC. Both Williams and Reese did not play in the second quarter because of foul trouble. Reese still got a double-double, but they were off the floor for a while in the game that Missouri cut a 17-point deficit. At one point, cut it to four before LSU went on a big run and put the game away. Poole drives strong into the lane, puts it off the glass, misses it a little bit hard. That is Angel Reese using her right hand. 17 double-doubles to start the season, the SEC Player of the Week. By the way, that 17 double-doubles is an LSU record. You see there with the most in SEC history since conference has started sponsoring women's college basketball. When we talk about those 28 rebounds, it also went with those 26 points. So certainly shattering records. Shaw dribbles from one side of the court to the other. Scott Grayson leaves it for an open jump shot from the free throw line, and it's rammed home. Rammed home there off the glass. That's Carissa Richardson, a 6'2 freshman from Douglasville, Georgia, averaging six a game and five rebounds. Poole launches the three, and Poole rips the bottom of the twine. You know, talking about the turnovers, one thing Auburn has done well, it's first in the SEC in turnover mark. A pair of Tiger teams doing battle today, Auburn and LSU. Three ball, left side, yes! Arched home by Sanaya Wells. Shot clock at three. Morris comes inside, rips the jumper as she took a step and a half inside the three-point line. Well, great control by Morris, too, because she saw the defense coming out aggressively. She threw the little ball fake from the three-pointer, two dribbles in, and took a nice open jump shot. Auburn with the basketball in the dark uniform. Auburn... Turns it over for the second time. Reese comes down. Reese can't get the free throw to go. Auburn is certainly playing without its full roster. Aisha Koulibaly is the Auburn leading scorer. She's been out for about five games this year, averaging more than 16 and a half a game. Reese uses the right hand, too strong off the window. It's put back, it's good, a foul. And free throws coming. 
for LaDasia Williams. You've got to pick one or the other. Watch Reese get the ball and look at the number of blue jerseys that come on her. Four jerseys there. She still almost gets it to go, but then nobody's backside to get LaDasia Williams and block her out. Well, LaDasia Williams has had some great success against Auburn. Shaw guarded by Morris, scoops it up, reverse layup, and rolls across the rim. Tipped and controlled, and here comes Morris. Morris, stutter dribble, kicks it out left side. Poa won't shoot from there, gets it down low, and a blown layup, but a putback is good. An absolutely unfettered look. That's like a slinky trying to go upstairs. <laughs> right, you're going the wrong way. That's going to be a travel. Oh, they call the block. LSU by nine. That's ripped home beautifully. That's a deep deuce by Shaw. Caught it in rhythm, went up, and put a lot of air under it, and it drew nothing but cord. Auburn's a 35% three-point shooting team on the season. Auburn in a zone right now, and the air ball comes from three-point range. That one well off the mark left by Flaugé Johnson. One minute to play in the first quarter. LSU leading by seven. This is Reese guarding the guard. Wells tries to get by her, slings it off the window, and they're going to blow the whistle. She can make it a five-point game. It remains six. You do not see Wells miss much at the free throw line. She was a 90.5% shooter one year ago. That was tops in the conference, seventh in the country. Well, she ranks second all time at Auburn in career free throw percentage, just under 80%, 79.9. Shot clock at eight, pool for three. Yes, ma'am. Kateri Poole rips it home. Transfer from Ohio State out of the Bronx, New York, New York. Tigers will get a bucket. In the closing seconds of the first quarter by Carson. LSU leading 23-12. Wells left hand and it rolls in. Nicely done by Samaya Wells. And that ends the first quarter. So we resume play in the second quarter. LSU with a 23-14 lead over Auburn. And a blocking foul by Wells setting an illegal screen. When it comes to the rebounding game, because of the size, Auburn six rebounds in the game, LSU has 13. Poole and Morris and Reese and Smith and Carson are on the floor in gold right now. This is Carson, fakes the three, goes down to the left side, is cut off, now reverses. Was triple team down there. Reese wants it in the lane. She's going to have to get out of there. Boy, she was in there about five seconds. Well, and Auburn's basically doing a box around here. They're letting the other three players defend everybody else. They're taking two Auburn Tigers to guard Angel Reese. And a ripped off rebound. They've well, designated two players to guard number 10 on the paint. Carson kicks it out. Morris fumbles it, gets it back, shoots on line, but a little bit long. And a rebound to Auburn. Auburn in the dark uniforms, wasting no time in bringing it up court. In traffic, a shot down on the baseline will not go for Honesty Scott Grayson, who's the second leading scorer. And that one rolls in. Tough layup for Morris to convert. The second chance is good. Eight minutes to go, second quarter. Left-handed scoop layup, left a little bit short, underneath the rim by Morris. Here's Levy, kicks it left side, Wells for three. Rebound bounces deep, hits the floor, and collected by Auburn's Scott Grayson. This is Bostic. Both teams will make a substitution at the next whistle. Steal by Reese. Layup by Reese. She took it away. Underneath the bucket by Johnson, she throws it back out to Wells, and Auburn will restart the offense. Tigers will get a substitution at the next whistle. It's going to be Amani Bartlett coming in for LSU at the next stoppage. Six minutes to go, second quarter. Reese spins and uses the left hand. Here's Wells. Morris came over.
over and got a piece of that ball on its way out of the hands, but a foul called. Now with two fouls, but one of the concerns going up against this LSU team is how physical they can be in the paint. Precious Johnson making her third start of the season today. Bags one of two free throws. Carson penetrates, kicks it out to Reese, fakes right, dribbles left, comes back right side, loops it up, misses off the glass, gets it back, she's hacked, she'll go to the line. If you're on a double-double watch for Reese, she now has seven points, including that free throw. It's a travel. A little bit of an extra step before the jump shot was launched. What was in the mid-90s for a while and what was in the low hundreds for a while, the way this team started the season. Reese is double teamed down low again and draws another foul. Now we know South Carolina, we know LSU are two of the three undefeated teams in the country right now. Quick quiz for you, Victor, who is the third? Ohio State. Yes. Harvard has had some success against LSU in its basketball histories and also fairly recently. Brown can't shoot as Reese comes out to contend that area at the free throw line. Yeah, Auburn's won five of eight in this series yeah. as of late. Yeah, and holds the overall series record all time. That's banged home a deep deuce by Brown from the key. I know that's the second. That might be the third bank shot we've seen them hit from that area here in the first half. Yeah, it's a Sunday afternoon, but the bank is open. She's got nine points, working for more points. Reverse layup, good. Somehow she was able to slither through double team and use the window on the reverse side. Now nine points or 11 points. That gives her double digit points and six rebounds. 34-19, LSU by 15. Lob down low. Grabbed by Johnson. Auburn is able to convert it. Long three up. Carson rams one home again. Jasmine Carson. Last year shot 45% from the floor. Goes down right side of the lane. Somehow gets it up. One of the really fine players in the early part of LSU's basketball history. Out of Moss Point, Mississippi. There is rebound number eight for Reese to go along with 11 points. Morris. Carson. Reese. Will step back, shoot it, and missed it off the iron. Rebound hits the floor. Bostic backs up, Carson defending. Kick out for a long three, Wells left side. And that will bounce all the way out of bounds. At halftime, we will have a conversation with Simone Augustus, whose statue was unveiled among the Bob Pettits and the Shaquille O'Neal's and the Pete Maravich's. Reese spinning, fake left, went right, scored with the right hand. Johnson comes up shooting, leaves it short. Reese with another rebound, that's nine for her. Somehow, Alexis Morris is able to ram that one home. She just lowered her shoulder, got to the rim, was able to bang it off the board, and it goes down. So the Tigers have Williams, Carson, Johnson, Reese, and Morris on the floor. Morris launches the immediate three. Johnson, Shaw, Scott, Grayson, Richardson, and Precious Johnson on the floor for Auburn. Scott Grayson. Fakes right, dribbles left, gets by Flaugé Johnson. Flaugé catches up and forces a miss. And there is rebound number 10 for Angel Reese. A double-double just seconds into the third quarter, Victor. Oh. 
Morris will put it in play, lobs it to Reese behind the pick, right back to Morris for the lay-in. That play was from the bench and executed without uh, any flaws. Well, knowing that so much attention is going to be on Reese, they put her in the back of the stack, throw it up high. She caught it and immediately threw it right back to the baseline as Morris stepped in. Well executed play by LSU. Pull up jump shot. Won't fall for Shaw from the right wing. Here come the Tigers of LSU. Johnson gets right to the rim and scores with the right hand. A McDonald's High School All-American. Auburn stays right with it. Precious Johnson. Five points and five rebounds for Precious Johnson. After Koulibaly was injured in practice the day before the Auburn-Alabama game, she was hit with an elbow on the skull and has been uh, in concussion protocol since then. They do expect her to play next game. The looper by Alexis Morris off the front iron, off the window, and through the twine. And she hasn't hit a three-pointer today after going five for five at Missouri, but Morris now five of ten from the floor. Six assists as well for Alexis Morris. There's a rebound. Now she's on the run. Five rebounds. And seven assists. Carson finishes. LSU by 25 with seven and a half to go. Third quarter. Nice little 8-2 start for LSU here in the third quarter. After finishing the second quarter on a 17-3 run. Shaw again loops it up. Nicely done. If there's one thing that Angel Reese needs to focus on, and believe me, her game is outstanding all the way around. Sometimes she gets frustrated if she doesn't get the call as the Deja Williams hits the jump shot. She fights so hard underneath, expecting contact. Sometimes if she doesn't get the call, she'll stop or complain and kind of take herself out of the play or two. Deja Williams with the last bucket. That gives her eight points on the game. Carson picks up the loose ball, has a three-on-one opportunity here. Late feed, right back to Reese. And the foul. Bucket, foul, whistle, layup done perfectly. Three-point play possible. Now you see Carson coming down, gets it in the middle. You'd never think that you'd have Reese in the middle, but great job by Alexis Morris. Shot clock at six. Nice work offensively on the rebound. Scott Grayson with four points. Some difficulties at the free throw line against Missouri after shooting pretty well most of the season. 8 of 12 now for LSU, 67% from the line. Auburn has been to the line eight times, three of eight, 37 and a half percent. Most teams would like to reach that 70% mark as a club. Great job by Alexis Morris. For two. Really good defense for a moment against Angel Reese, but she was able to recover. Little zip pass. See how she dips it down? She rarely brings the ball down that low. But they got the block, she's able to stick with it and then eventually draw the foul. Reese is looking for her 18th point. 7 to 10 from the line right now. Make it 8 of 11. Auburn's gone to the line 10 times as a team. With some of the teams they played in non-conference. A chance to try to get players to learn one another and play. But you get in the conference, it's a whole other monster. Oh, oh, what a feed. That was a beautiful older over-the-shoulder dish. And just, just remarkable. We'll take another look at that one when we get an opportunity. Ja'Kayla Johnson. Here's what we were talking about with Auburn. First 13 games, almost 76 points a game and shooting 43%. That shooting percentage has dropped 10 points in conference play and the points per game down 24 points. LSU leading comfortably. Little jump hook, nicely done. 
But she's had 12 starts, make it 13 now. Freshman out of Douglasville, Georgia. Chose Auburn over Alabama. Big decision there in that state. Rutgers and Pitt as well. Roger Johnson rips one deep. And that gives Morris her 10th assist of the game. So a double-double the hard way. Points and assists. 10 points, 10 assists. Blage Johnson, Samaya Smith, Angel Reese, last year Poa, and Katira Poole on the floor for LSU with the basketball. Smith working hard, puts it up but leaves it thin. Offensive rebound by LSU, but Johnson is unable to do anything with it. And here come the Auburn Tigers. Big effort on the rebound. Owenda Mola Akinbolala has entered the game for Auburn. She played briefly in the first half. Shaw knocks down the quick release 15 foot jump shot. Morris almost got the bounce to go down. Here's Richardson, and nobody guarded her. Richardson has asked to come out of the game, and Auburn is going to accommodate. Here's Poole. She got there, but she had run out of juice trying to get the shot up. There's about a one-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Auburn will attempt the last opportunity. Kick out for three. Got it. Well done by Auburn to close out the third quarter. That was great. Great patience on that dribbling, just waiting. So we go to the fourth quarter, LSU leading Auburn by 18. And hey, coming off that third quarter, you see Auburn on a 9-0 run to end the quarter. Something we have not seen a lot of in conference play, if not the entire season. LSU lost that third quarter, 20 to 19. Auburn won the third quarter by one. And that was after LSU had really burned the net in the first five minutes of that third yeah, quarter. 29 to five run between the end of the second and start of the third quarter. And Auburn really took over to, to close out that quarter. So LSU in command, but Auburn continues to scrap and go at it with all it's got. Morris goes baseline, kicks it out to Reese. She can't catch up with it. Wells almost traveled. Auburn setting a couple of nice picks to give Wells a chance to shoot, and she drops it home. Flaugier might be trying to find out. Anybody want to let me know? Is a screen coming? Yeah. They ran her off of three screens that time before they finally got the open jump shot. Just like that, to your point about Auburn not giving up, they've cut it now to 16. Free throw line jump shot off the mark right. Williams missed it. Morris with a behind the back pass. Carson goes and gets it and then has a clear path to get within about six feet. Maya Pratcher has entered the game for Auburn. Number one. That shot for three from deep in the corner is off the side of the backboard. Reese directing traffic. This is Morris. Roger Johnson is fouled. Cleanly played by the Lady Tigers wearing yellow. An easy rebound for Reese. Unless you get a break and Auburn deflects it out of bounds. One dribble, two dribbles. Reese tried to lean back with the left hand, gets it and scores. Gracious, just be in position to follow it up in case it's a miss. It's just outstanding. A difficult layup that time. She tries to go up and under, hits the bottom of the rim, but then get yourself in position to pick it up and put it right back in. 20 points and 15 rebounds for Reese and a nice move by Johnson to score for Auburn. Poole works her way for an open free throw line jump shot and is fouled in the process. 
More than 11,000 in the building tonight. The alumni and family and friends of Simone Augustus after the ball game is over. Really nice to see all those faces and former players back here enjoying the weekend. They're certainly enjoying the way LSU's playing right now. That stroke home very nicely by Ja'Kayla Johnson. She had nine points, six rebounds, and four assists against Missouri. Johnson considered LSU. That's three of them, and she's got 15 yeah, six, points. Six of ten from the floor, three of six from deep with 15 points. The only game they've lost, LSU, under Mulkey, was at Florida. The Tigers had a four-point lead going into the fourth quarter. They lost it by one, 73-72. Tigers by 20, LSU Tigers by 20. Poole loses it, gets it back. Carson open, and she rips her fourth yes, triple indeed. of the year. It. Morris with a rebound. Ten points, ten assists, seven rebounds for Morris. Not a bad afternoon's work. Career high watch from Jasmine Carson and the offensive end as Angel Reese powers it up. A little stare down afterwards as she gets the foul. Carson has 18 after that other three pointer. Career high is 21, so keep an eye on that. But watch this quick pirouette right here. Whoop! Great vision and her ability to shoot right hand, left hand, bad angles. Eight of 11 from the line, chance to go nine for 12. Looking for her 23rd point. Remember, it started out slow because Auburn was giving her so much attention to start this game with the double team, and that wore down quickly. Here's Shaw. Poole wades in for the rebound. Morris on the move with a 76-50 lead, just under four minutes to go. A little slick move underneath. Samaya Smith. Who's going to pick up the hot potato? Alexis Morris, Morris takes it away. Well, Jasmine Carson started all that with that pressure in midcourt, trying to get the steal. Morris, the recipient of her hard work, picks up the loose ball and runs with it. The lead is 30. It's the biggest lead of the day for LSU. Precious Johnson, Precious out of Baytown, Texas. And 13. LSU's highest scoring quarter was in the first when they put up 23. LSU has scored 20 here in the fourth with 3.10 to go. Emily Ward has entered the game. A couple of some other teammates off the bench, including Elisa Williams. Carson, step back, jump shot, no good. Rebound hits the floor. Smith right there, misses the layup, and Williams is hacked after the offensive rebound. She will shoot a couple of free throws. Follow up and gets fouled. She is a 6'2 freshman from Little Elm, Texas. She was coached by her mom, Lisa, in high school. A 5A All-Stater in Texas. Blue tire. Yeah, there's a... There's a tennis shoe back in the, uh, in the key area. <laughs> that came from Williams. And she's, she's playing with one, one shoe on right yeah. now. Now she throws it toward the bench. Watch it. Simone will grab that thing. That will be her 501st. <laughs> you don't often see somebody shoot a free throw and come out of their shoes. No. That's what happened to Williams. No. Man, I love the that's fight, a lot, That's a lot of torque, right? <laughs> yeah. Throw that thing to the side. We've got a game to play. If they're not blowing the whistle, I don't need a shoe. Let's go. She's still playing with one shoe on and one shoe on the bench is Williams. 
Ward. Yes, the crowd favorite, you can tell. Tim Mocha calling timeout for a substitution. A young LSU Tiger who always has bright eyes and a wide smile. Great job of running the floor that time on the two-on-one break. It'll come right at you. Poole with the ball, making the breakaway right of your screen is Emily Ward. A little dish right when she sees the defender make a move for the ball. Great pass. Great job by Ward to lay it up and in. Now, such a great moment when she got that letter. Kim Mulkey said something came for you. They asked her to read it in the locker room in front of everybody. I'm sure she's probably ready like Bob Starkey and the staff to decompress a little bit. That parents weekend, they introduced the parents of the current players at halftime. Coach Mulkey was on the floor for that. Ten to shoot, 67 left in the game. From the key, Bartlett. The lead is 30, less than a minute to go. LSU will move to 6-0 in Southeastern Conference play. It will win its 18th straight game to open the year. LSU will stay at home later this week as Arkansas will come to town before the Lady Tigers from LSU go to Alabama. And then a big way to end January and start February. January 30th at home against Tennessee. February 2nd at home against Georgia. LSU. Poole taking the shot. This will be the last possession, we think. McFadden in the game for Auburn's Tigers. And this one is over. The Tigers remain perfect in front of the fifth largest crowd in the history of women's basketball in the Maravich Center. Nearly 11,500 on hand today. LSU with a wire-to-wire -wire win. It extends its school record to 18-0 to start a season. And the Tigers of LSU came out quickly. Auburn played hard the entire 40 minutes, but LSU just too much.